So we are here with our Chinese friend. What's your name? Uh, my name is Sophia. Sophia, and what do you think about the Chinese proposal on climate change? Oh, yeah, yeah on targets. And uh, uh, Okay, it's really a tough question. You really ask a very tough question. Honestly speaking, before uh, November 25, I really have no idea what our government will uh, finally decide. But after that, I, I have, to some extent, I have confidence that our government will do something in this climate change issue. We will do. But right now, I have no idea. But uh, what percent they want to have the consumption, uh, no, uh, the energy consumption? What? what percent of re reduction they will do, but I think that my government, I have the confidence that they will do something, like that they won't kill the Kyoto Protocol, they okay. won't kill. And what about this conference, what are you thinking about? It's a big shame, it's a big it's shame, like, I don't, uh, honestly speaking, I don't think that they won't have a very good concrete solution finally, like, uh, because right now I, I've already seen that uh, people from developing countries, developed countries, they cannot get, they can, they even don't have trust on each other, so I don't have confidence about this kind of conference, but I really hope that I can have confidence about the people, about the citizens, about the human beings in it or they can do something that is the most important thing and don't rely on the politics always okay and since they're doing this kind of thing it's really a shame even they don't respect people like you can imagine that some some people they are in the they're in the ballot center it's quite warm inside but some people they are outside experience this kind of cold and they don't care, they don't show respect to the other people. It's also the same like some developed countries, they're doing this kind of thing. They don't know, uh, even maybe they, they know what is happening, what is the climate change right now in some developing country. They experience the flood, they experience the drought like this, but they don't show respect and they don't want to do anything for those kind of people. It's quite the same, like people inside. They, they know what is happening outside, but they don't want they to do don't anything. Care. They don't care. That it is a problem. You can imagine that just in the Copenhagen, this is a small environment. People do like this. If you express this to the whole world, it's the same. It's the same. So, so any it's solution? Really a shame. Any solution? Okay. Very tough, huh? Yeah, very tough.